Our next lesson is going to be how to introduce a dog to a simple retrieve. Now the retrieve is going to be a trainer thrown retrieve. So the dog will be at your side and you will throw the dummy yourself in front of the dog and release the dog to get that dummy. Now we will migrate that from a, a, a trainer thrown retrieve to a gunner thrown retrieve where we'll have somebody out in the field with a gun or a blank pistol or just yelling hey hey or ho ho and they will throw the dummy. We want to translate to the dog that you have to look external for the bird or the game, whatever it is, and when you see it fall then you retrieve upon command. But in the beginning the dog won't see that connection. So what we want to do is throw the dummy for the dog ourselves. Now, already you've played with your dog. You've given him lots of happy bumps and he's excited. You don't expect your dog to be steady. Do not expect your dog to be steady on the bird or to retrieve till later in life. Uh, I would consider nine to 10 months early. I have had dogs, I've competed dogs steady that early. And uh, I don't like to do it. I kind of like to steady a dog up when he's about a year old. But you want to semi-steady him prior to a year. So 10 months to a year, you can steady That's your dog. Good girl. Also, always say the word mark when you throw a mark to retrieve. It teaches the dog to expect a bird or a dummy in the air out in front of them. And later when you're hunting, when you say the word mark, if you see a flock of duck, the dog will start scanning the sky or the outer perimeters or the horizon for something. You'll probably think in the early days it's a dummy or it's a gunner training, but he'll soon learn there's going to be a duck coming in on the wind. Mark. Jet. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Give. Good girl. Mark. Jet. Good girl. Good girl, Jet. Heel. Sit. No, oh, heel. Didn't like your heel in there. Sit. Another lesson that this is strictly for hunting and you can lose points for this in a field trial and I did many many years ago but I, I tend to do this and I learned this from competing dogs in Ireland. Now you might notice sometimes in this video I use the word steady which is something you will never see happen in a competition in America. However in Europe you will see this happen all the time. And when I first saw it, I thought it was a great idea. So I, I, I modified it and introduced a whistle command for it too. And what it is, is if you're here running your dog and you're sending your dog on a blind, many, many times when I first started training dogs, I, I thought to myself, how does the dog know where the blind is if he's off a few feet? I mean, does he stop and does he, does he head into the wind and get the bird? Because next week I might be at a competition, there's a poison bird there and he's not supposed to do that. So how does the dog discern these differences? And, and many of those thoughts had, uh, had taken up my time when I first start getting introduced to dog training. But here's what I do now as a hunter, and I do this all the time. When my gunner here throws a bird and the bird lands right here, remember, here we are, look at the dog has to run past the gunner in the beginning. When the dog runs and gets very close to the bird, I either say the word steady, because that's what they tend to say in Ireland and England when they hunt a field trial. Now, if a hunter says the word steady whilst competing in England, he doesn't get points deducted. If he blows the whistle, he gets points deducted for disturbing the environment in a disturbing game. However, what I did was I introduced two whistle blasts. So whenever my dogs run to the area of a fall in a blind retrieve or a marked retrieve, when he gets right to the area, I toot the whistle twice, peep, peep. And then the dog instinctively learns that when he hears the two whistles, he picks up the bird. So that when he's running a blind and he doesn't know where the bird is, but you know where it is and you don't want to waste time with that dog out in the field, you don't want to waste time when you want to get him back to the blind before the next flock of geese come in, you hit two whistles, peep peep, the dog puts his nose down, starts hunting, finds the bird. You don't have to, you're not out there to compete, you're out there to get your birds back as quick as you can and efficiently hunt and harvest game. So. You will notice it a couple of times in the DVD when I send the dog, when he gets to the area to fall, 
two toots on the whistle. Now, also remember that the, the speed of sound doesn't travel all that fast. So I might blow, depending on how far the dog is from me, I'll blow the whistle when he's 6, 10, or 15 feet from the area of the fall, knowing that by the time the sound gets to him, he'll be right at the area of the fall. Try this out, and I think you'll have a lot more hunting success.